Okay, Allie, I'm going to make you a sort of short, summed up version of how to use program mode to uh, reach the best settings for manual mode. Um, program mode is awesome. It'll take pretty good pictures just uh, by clicking it and uh, hitting the shutter button. It'll, it'll do pretty good pictures, but generally um, it has a tendency to wash out colors. Um, it won't give you a, a dark vibrancy, which you can achieve by uh, using manual setting. So I'm going to show you a few things on the uh, program display that you'll need to know when uh, using manual. Um, the first thing you notice is right here is P. It tells you what mode you're in. Um, once you go ahead and mash the shutter button down halfway, a few things are going to pop up. In the top left is the 120th. Um, that is your shutter speed. Directly to the right is the f-stop number 4.0. And to the right of that is ISO 400. Um, directly below those three you'll see uh, a meter that's directly below that and to the right of uh, the P for program that is the white balance. Um, what it's doing now is selecting the best combination of those three for the lighting and the depth of field or the depth of focus achieved by the lens. Um, I have the lens manually focused right now so uh, it'll basically pick for that, uh, that that I have selected as my focus. Now, um, when you switch to program mode, you just have to simply remember the shutter speed and the f-stop. You're going to manually affect the ISO later because that's not really affected um, automatically in program mode. You'll still select that and then it'll base the shutter speed and the aperture off of what you already have selected as well as the room lighting and the focus. So um, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the manual mode and I'll show you what we need to do. Okay, I'll show you up here, I'll switch to M. Okay, it's also displayed back here as M in the uh, left hand side. The uh, shutter speed is 1 400th, and uh, the f stop is 4.5, and the ISO is 400. It is different because it stays the last thing you set it. Um, to affect the shutter speed, you simply move the wheel right before the shutter button to the left to slow it down and to the right to speed up. You'll see a higher number on the right hand side of that fraction. Um, mine goes up to 4000. I'm not exactly sure what yours does. Um, to affect the aperture hold down the AV button and then use the wheel. To the left smaller f-stop which will be a larger uh, aperture to the right higher f-stop which will be a lower aperture. The problem with aperture is the higher the f-stop is the darker the picture will generally be. You'll have to use a slower shutter speed generally to match and a higher ISO. ISO button is there. The problem with ISO using that simply to affect the darkness is uh, if there's a high shutter speed and a low aperture or a high f-stop number you'll have to really crank that ISO number up and the higher it is in low light the more grain you'll pick up in the picture that's called uh, um, noise um, it's generally particles in the air and things like that that uh, the image sensor picks up so you want to keep the ISO setting down as low as possible and um, generally use the uh, f-stop the aperture to affect the depth of field as well as the brightness um, another important thing you'll notice is the white balance if you don't have that set right, it'll really mess up the uh, the processing of the picture. It'll come out in weird, funky colors. Find the best realistic color um, to be achieved will be achieved in the daylight setting. Uh, automatic is okay, but generally um, it kind of really cranks up your settings and uses unnecessary amounts of uh, ISO and things like that. But uh, daylight, shade is a good one, and cloud. I don't really like the tungsten light or the fluorescent or the flash. They tend to be uh, either bright blue or a yellowish and uh, they also wash out a lot. So daylight is usually my favorite. Another, um, this is going to be the picture style. The standard is the best. Portrait will bring out the uh, the skin tone a little bit better and blur the background. Uh, so for the type of photography you're using, standard and portrait will generally be the best. Um, that should be everything you need. I hope that makes a lot of sense, and um, I hope it helps. All right.